All right, I have a short teaching for you today coming from the book of Matthew. This is a five minute teaching. It may be super short, but the purpose of it is for you to continually be meditating on these words, to hide them in your heart, to ask the Lord how to apply this to your life and to learn about the character of God through this. So not one and done, five minutes, but you're gonna hide this in your heart forever. All right, let's go. Matthew 5, starting in verse 14, the parable of the talents or the bags of gold as my NIV version calls it. I'm going to read it, summarize it for you, and we'll go from there. Verse 14 says, again, it will be like, he's talking about the kingdom of heaven here. The kingdom of heaven will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one he gave five bags of gold, to another two, and another one each according to his ability. So they already had different abilities and the master knew this and already gave them different amounts according to their abilities. He went on his journey. The man who received five bags of gold went at once, put the money to work and gained five bags more. He invested the money, made his master more. The one with two bags gained two more. The man who received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground and he hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of the servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who received five bags said, Master, you entrusted me with five bags. See, I gained you five more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. I want to hear that <laughs> when I die. That's, that's the best thing you can hear. Well done, good and faithful servant. You have faithfully, you've been faithful with a few things. I'll put you in charge of more things. Come and share your master's happiness. His reward there was more responsibility. He did well and he was given more. The man with two bags of gold came forth, said, Master, you entrusted me with two. See, I made you two more. His master again replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man who received one bag of gold... <laughs> He comes up and says, Master, I knew you were a hard man and harvesting where you have not sown, gathering where you have not scattered seed. I was afraid. I went out and I hid your gold in the ground. See, here's what belongs to you. His master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I harvested where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well, then you should have put my money on deposit with the bankers. At least I would have received it back with interest. Take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has 10 bags. For whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. <laughs> And this isn't originally what I had to say, but I just thought of this when reading this, that I think it starts with the mindset of when you believe you are provided for, when you believe you are living in abundance and the Lord is giving you everything you need, that more and more and more come to you. But when you live in a place of feeling impoverished and feeling that you are poor and having a poverty mindset, you're going to have less and less and less. But what I wanted you to get out of this is that, you know, how is this like the kingdom of heaven? Well, the Lord gives to those who already have demonstrated their ability to receive more. And you might be praying for things in your ministry or things in your life and asking the Lord for more, but you're not stewarding well, which you already have. And so the Lord can't trust you with more. He can't give you more responsibility as a reward until you start stewarding well and acting well with what you have. So as encouragement, not as a rebuke, think about what you have, your time, your finances, your kids, your husband, whatever you have, the Lord's already given you. How are, are you doing well with it? How are you serving the kingdom of heaven with it? If your answer is maybe not the best, maybe I could be a little better with things, then start there before you try to move on to something bigger. The Lord has really great things for you, but he can't hand them over to you until you're taking care of what he's already given you. So that was my five minute teaching. Think about that this week as you're going about whatever busy mom things you have to do and be blessed.